Hey guys, so I'm going to go over the laws of indices with you, a couple of questions that have come up with your homework. So um, this is going to be one part and I'll do another part as well. So these are called powers. So the numbers at the top, so that you've got a whole number here and you've got three here, which represents four cubed. And this is four to the power of five, that's four to the power of three. When your time's in, you add the powers. So for four, they, the fours, they stay the same. So you've got four. And then you add three add a five is eight. And that is simplified. Okay, now this one now. Um, four to the power of eight divided by four to the power of three. When you're dividing, you take away the powers. This is the same, so it stays the same, four. 8 take away 3, 5, 4 to the power of 5. This one here, the 4 cubed is in the brackets to the power of 5. When they're in brackets, brackets always means times. So 3 times 5, so 4 to the power of 3 times 5, which is 15. Alright, next one now, you're simplifying this. So you've got um, 3 nines, so you can put 9 down because that's the only variable that you're using. Two add four, because we're times in below, so above we're gonna add. Two add four is six, add six again, is 12. Nine to the power of 12. This one here, r to the power of 20, divided by r to the power of two, and then to the power of five, so. You're going to do, so you write this again, so r to the power of 20 divided by, um, yeah, r, 2 times 5 is 10. So now, you do r, you've got two r's, you're dividing, so you take away the powers, 20 take away 10 is 10. So that's r to the power of 10. Right, so this one here, you've got k to the power of 2 times k to the power of 3 um, divided by k to the power of 6 divided by k to the power of 3. And you've got our brackets here. And these are both of these um, are to the power of 2. So you're going to do this to the power of 2 and this, this to the power of 2. So work out this bit first. So let's simplify this. So k... Well, we're times in here, so we're going to add the powers. So 2 add 3 is 5. And then we're going to um, times that by 2. Remember to times that power by 2. So that becomes K10. Okay. And then on the bottom, we've got K to the power of 6 divided by K to the power of 3. So we're going to, because this is a division, we're going to take away the powers this time. So K, 6 take away three, 3 is 3 to the power of 2. So that's going to equal K to the power of 6. So the division now is K to the power of 10 here, divided by K to the power of 6, which equals K. We're dividing here, so we're going to minus the powers. 10 to, uh, minus 6 is 4, so the answer would be k to the power of 4.